the scarlet cord not only it delivered her from the wrath of Jehovah but it delivered her from the grip of Jericho the grip of Jericho because you must understand after God went with his finger and the walls fell her house stood there and she was there in her house but now the scarlet cord was a point of reference for the spies to find the house not only so they will protect it but so that they will take her from the house and say now you come with us now you are going to live with us they didn't take her out and say you know what woman God saved you hit the road Jack we don't want to know you we never met they didn't send her off like Abraham sent Hagar and say, hey, here's some water and here's some crackers. I hope you make it, but don't ever come back to our house because I will call police. She lives part of Israel and the most amazing part, she marries one of the men named Salmon who was spying her city. The best part about the blood is not only that it satisfies the wrath of God, but it has the power to break the grip of my past. But this is where the blood does its invisible work. Is it goes into the spiritual world and the things she was gripped by for years. It looses that grip and the woman who was so loosed becomes so godly. And the woman who was so messed up becomes so holy. And this woman who by some people's standards should never be married because of what she's done and yet she married one of the most trustworthy men in the nation of Israel. That is the power of the blood. The blood has power. It has power to deliver a captive from his captivity. Ask a nation of Israel, they'll tell you that we did not only were captives for 40 years or 30 years, but for hundreds of years. Our ancestors were born in that captivity. We only knew captivity. And all nine plagues could not move Pharaoh until the blood was spilled. And the grip that lasted for years and decades, that grip was loosed. And we walked out of Egypt, a whole nation, not one person, a whole nation left a captivity of generations because of the blood. There is power in the blood, not only to forgive you, but to change you. Not only to remove the penalty of sin, but to break the power of sin over your life.